those meetings. Because when we talked about why are women and minority uh, individuals not elevating? Why are we not seeing more businesses? Why are we not seeing more people in C-suites? What we came up with was they don't have the right connections. And how do we make sure they have the right connections? I graduated today from uh, Hustle SBE here in Granger, Indiana. It's an entrepreneur workshop to help give us tools and resources to be better uh, entrepreneurs. What that means is we want all of you to thrive and prosper in the South and Elkhart region. Mm -hmm. We want your businesses to thrive, we want your employees to thrive, and we want this to be a great place to live, work, and play. So if that is what we're focused on as an organization, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think we have agreement. Um, <laughs> So this is for a program that's a business boot camp. It's called Hustle SBE, and it was started for businesses that are in their second or third year of business. They're not startups, um, but they've honed their hustle. Uh, they know what they're doing, but we want to make sure that women and minority businesses were able to uh, understand how to run a solid business. So that's what we've spent the last eight weeks on, is helping them get skills around all the other areas of running a solid business. So I own Dell Star VR. We are a virtual reality uh, provider. So right now we provide, our main focus right now is on gaming, but as an alternative virtual reality provider, we plan on uh, having content to help people, you know, dealing with mental health issues, to help uh, people with disabilities like autism, um, education, and things like that. I own Miss Honey's Cleaning Service here in Elkhart, but I do serve the Michiana area and we specialize in residential cleaning and commercial cleaning. So what we've done is we have had eight weeks of curriculum. They included everything from introducing them to CPAs and understanding how to read SNL um, statements and balance sheets and things like that. They met with attorneys and they met with um, marketing professionals and all the different things that are needed to grow and sustain a business. So even around financial planning, even though they're at the beginning of their journey on business, we worked on different things that they could do um, that typically small businesses look away from that are scary for them. We really wanted them to uh, focus on some of those areas so that they would have a community, they would know who to contact, and they'd have some general information around those areas. One of the things that we learned was like how to identify our own strengths and weaknesses. So for me, um, I learned that you know I'm a real like a strategist type of person. I'm a relation builder, um, which kind of helped with the whole process because in this cohort, you know, one of the main things that I kind of took away was the ability to network. So networking was one of the major things. How to hire employees, when to hire employees, um, how to find the right candidates to hire, things like that. So it's a great resource. The class was awesome. The class was awesome, and what, we, what I learned from Hustle is to hustle harder, to hustle harder, but hustle smarter. And what that means is, with all the resources they gave us on today, to use those resources to hustle smarter, to make better decisions concerning our business, so we won't end up falling in four or five years. You know, what we know is 90% of startups fail in the first year. 70% more fail in years two to five. What I would like for these businesses, because these are, um, you know, Main Street businesses. These are local businesses by local people who are going to feed back to our region. We want to make sure that they're sustainable from not only today but five years and beyond. Well, is that I too um, am a, the owner of a minority-owned business. Uh, this marks my 27th year, and uh, Kempress is actually the second largest minority-owned business in the state of Indiana. Uh, I recall back. Um, when I was getting started, there were some mentors of mine that were also uh, owners of minority-owned companies that really brought me in. They helped me with strategy, they helped me with business planning. They also helped me a lot with connection. Being an entrepreneur is a lonely road, right? So it's important to find like-minded like people like yourself that have a passion for what you do, or even not for what you do, just in that space. So being in these type of environments allows you to network and find people and solve problems, because you might have an issue that you don't know how to resolve, but you got somebody that's in the same space with you, being an entrepreneur, and they can kind of give you some, some feedback. I would definitely say to come and uh, participate in this program because first of all we don't know everything as business owners like we think we do and once you come in here you learn a lot of different things from different speakers and just with the different um, the things that the teacher taught us 
uh, I had to unlearn a lot of stuff that I thought I knew. And so everything was downloaded into me was fresh and new. So now I'm able to go out into the world and do what I was taught from Hustle.